the 16 by 2 litre cascade system set as 4 by 2 litres. For this you will need 8 2 litre cascade canisters, 2 2 litre standard black top liners and 6 2 litre cascade blue top liners. You also need six cascade tubing sets and the reusable cascade tubing kit for the eight position cascade stand. Start by putting all the canisters into position. Attach the cascade tubing set to the suction controller then, starting with the first canister to the left of the controller, push the first connector into the back of the canister and continue until all are connected. Attach the remaining four connectors into the back of the bottom row of canisters. The first liner to be put in position is the black lid standard liner, which is placed to the left of the suction controller. Then place the remaining three blue top cascade liners into position, pushing them down into the canisters firmly. Then moving to the bottom canisters, the first black lid standard liner is placed beneath the top mounted black lid liner. Then place the remaining three blue top cascade liners into position, pushing them down into the canisters firmly. Starting at the top mounted black lid liner, and working round to the last blue liner, connect the cascade tubing as shown. Then moving to the bottom canisters, do the same Working from the black lid liner, connect the blue cascade tubing as shown. Connect the black vacuum tapered connector to the bottom row black standard liner. Now ensure the bottom siphon tap is set to open and close the top siphon tap. Switch on the vacuum and set to high. Wait until all the liners have expanded into the canisters. Then move and connect the black vacuum connector into the top black lid liner. Now close the bottom siphon tap and open the top siphon tap. Switch on the vacuum and set to high. Wait until all the liners have expanded into the canisters. Attach the patient tubing to the last blue liner on the top row of four. The system is now ready to operate. When the black lid liner fills to around 1800 mil, disconnect the black vacuum connector and locate into the black lid liner situated beneath it on the bottom row of four canisters. Now remove the patient tubing from the top row blue liner and connect into the bottom row blue liner. Now ensure the bottom siphon tap is set to open and close the top siphon tap. The bottom row is now ready to use, allowing the operator to change the top row of liners. Start by sealing the first patient port with the connector located at the front of the liner. Then remove the cascade tubing from the vacuum port and seal with the yellow connector located on the liner. Continue until you reach the final black top liner. Once you have reached the black lid liner, remember that only the patient port needs to be capped off.
using the convenient handles on each liner, start to remove them from the canisters. Now insert your new liners, starting from the left of the controller with the first black cap liner, and connect the cascade tubing. Open the top siphon tap and the liners will inflate into the canisters themselves. Once the liners have inflated, close the top siphon tap. Please note that the black lid liner will only inflate once the vacuum has been connected to the vacuum port. Once the bottom row of liners have filled, reverse the earlier process by moving the black vacuum tapered connector to the top black lid liner and the patient tubing to the top blue lid liner. Now close the bottom siphon tap and open the top siphon tap. Using the convenient handles on each liner, repeat the earlier shown process and start to remove the liners from the canisters. Please note that once you have finished the operating procedure, the vacuum must be kept turned on until all used liners have been capped off. The VACSAC's Back to Clear antimicrobial liners stand upright when full of fluid for convenient and safe disposal.